sleep in tablets do not make you sleep. They do not produce sleep at all. And that might be quite a strange thing to hear because you think, no, I've got all this evidence in the past. I've been on sleeping tablets five, 10 years. For me, they definitely do produce my sleep. So how can that be true? The reason why sleeping tablets do not actually produce sleep is because it's impossible for them to do that. The only thing that makes you sleep is your homeostatic sleep drive, your internal drive for sleep. The only thing that builds your sleep drive is wakefulness and being awake. And sleeping tablets do not create any homeostatic sleep drive. They don't create that drive for sleep. So how do they work? Well, the way sleeping tablets work is through sedation. They stop the brain from being able to form complex hormones which lead to the fight or flight stress response. A hyperarousal. So if you don't have these thought patterns that lead to the anger, the stress, the worry, then you don't get that physiological response, the heart rate increase, the sweaty palms. And so they prevent and dampen down that physiological response. As long as there's that natural drive to sleep there, then you will fall off to sleep. And I think it's incredibly helpful to understand that sleeping tablets don't actually produce sleep. Because when you get that deep understanding, you realize, okay, I've always wanted natural sleep, but I have always been sleeping naturally, even the nights that I've been taking sleeping tablets. And when you get that deep understanding, suddenly a lot of that struggle when it comes to sleep in tablets comes down when you do actually realize that you have been sleeping naturally all this time. Certainly sleeping tablets do work for some people, but really I think it's helpful to see them not as something that produces sleep, but as an aid to your sleep, not the thing that is actually creating sleep, because this is you doing it all by yourself. And I think you intuitively know this to be true. Because if you think about the time you've had sleeping tablets and you've taken a whole tablet and not slept, and other times you've gone to bed and you've had more of a drive to sleep, or you've had less anxiety, or you don't even know why, but maybe you took half a tablet and you slept, or no tablet and you slept, then it starts kind of undermining the fact that sleeping tablets are the only thing that can produce your sleep. And when you start seeing them more as an aid towards your sleep, rather than the thing that creates and manufacture it, there's an important mindset shift you can have to start breaking down that attachment towards your sleeping tablet.